Hello, Michael. What are you doing here? I heard you were renovating the Saunders mansion. I thought I'd come and take a look. Give you my opinion. Gee, thanks. But I've had all the opinions I need. It's free of charge. What have you got to lose? Nothing is free of charge, Gabrielle. Well, if you don't mind the question, don't you think this is a bit much for a wife you don't even love? A wife that's only going to be in Landview for two, three weeks out of the year, maybe? How I spend my money is no concern of yours. What I would like to know is why you couldn't ring the doorbell and wait to be invited in, as I'm sure you were taught to do. Let's just say I took the wrong path, ended up in the solarium. The doors were open. You've taken a couple of wrong paths lately, haven't you? That may be. But it's a good thing those doors were open, because if they hadn't been, I would have had to stay outside freezing cold while you and your guest finish your conversation as I was taught to do. How long have you been standing out there? Long enough. Long enough to eavesdrop on my private business? It seems that your business matter is no longer private. You have the audacity of a cobra. Only when I'm threatened. And those legal papers you had delivered to me by one of your lawyers, they definitely threaten my future. You backed yourself into that corner by swindling Delilah. Those were all my designs. Delilah couldn't care less about the business, and she certainly didn't contribute anything to that fashion show. If you win in court and the judge removes the injunction against your company, I will consider reinvesting. And if you take your investment out of my company, I haven't got a hope in hell of getting that place started up again. That's the brakes, Gabrielle. If you can't cover your losses, perhaps you shouldn't be playing poker with the big boys. Now say goodbye. Not until we play this hand, Michael. And it looks as though I have a royal flush. You see, I know that you are paying Leo Cromwell to get involved with Vicky Buchanan. I also know you threatened him with jail if he didn't cooperate. I also know you've been working on this plan for some years, so the stakes must be extremely high. But you're only halfway to your goal. Now, if some little mishap should come along and destroy everything you've worked so hard for, just like you pulling your money out of my company would destroy everything I've worked so hard for, do I need to go on? Be careful, Gabrielle. Why? What do you want? I want to play with the big boys. And I know I can be a great help to you. Yeah. You have yet to prove that. You haven't given me a chance to prove my loyalty. Trust me. Trust me with the truth. Tell me why Vicki Buchanan is so important to you. Find the right castle. You want this place. And me with it, I suppose. <sighs> you men. You're all such egotists. You really do believe that women just lie around waiting to marry you. I'm not interested in marriage. I don't have the time. But when I do, I'll be sure to let you know. Yes? Your receptionist said you might still be here. Gabrielle! Could you spare me a few minutes of your time? I can spare you three minutes, to be exact. I'm expected at home. Good. But first of all, did you go and see a doctor about that dizzy spell you had at Ace's party? No, I didn't. I felt much, much better the next day. Are you here to place an ad for the design showroom? No, actually, I'm not. I'm here because the strangest thing happened to me. I really thought I should share it with you. Is it a news item? No, no, I don't think you'd want to run this one. I was at Barry's Bar and Grill having a glass of wine, and this man I'd never met before just started talking to me. <laughs> Gabrielle, that's hardly unusual. You're a beautiful woman. That must happen to you all the time. <laughs> no, no, this is quite different. He was obviously very drunk, and he started mumbling on about a terrible mistake he'd made and how he had to leave Landview. I, I felt rather sorry for him, but I didn't want to get too involved with his problems. But did you? No, no. He finished his drink, paid his bill, and then rushed out. But as he was leaving, he dropped a photograph. I picked it up, ran after him, but he disappeared. But well, did the bartender know him? No, he didn't. And I thought about leaving the picture with the bartender in case the man came back. But then I looked at it, and I realized this man must have been a good friend of yours. Why would you say that? Because you're in the picture. I assumed you must be very good friends. Do you recognize him? 
Oh, my God. That's Nikki Smith. And Leo Cromwell.